डॉट नेट की इस वीडियो सीरीज में आज का टॉपिक है एडियो डॉट नेट आर्किटेक्चर सबसे पहले हम जानते हैं व्हाट इज एडियो डॉट नेट एडियो डॉट नेट मीन्स एक्टिव एक्स डेटा ऑब्जेक्ट बेसिकली इट्स अ पार्ट ऑफ डॉट नेट फ्रेमवर्क एंड यूज टू प्रोवाइड द ऑब्जेक्ट एंड क्लासेस व्हिच विल हेल्प योर एप्लीकेशन टू कनेक्ट विथ डेटा बेज सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल एडियो डॉट नेट आर्किटेक्चर हैज two main parts one is a data provider also known as a managed provider and connected object second one is a data set it's also known as a disconnected object this is the architecture figure of adio.net uh, first of all we will understand .net framework data provider you can see here, here left hand side and then after data set so first of all connection class or object is used to provide connection string and connection with database and your application after that second one is a command command is used to provide uh, sql command like insert update delete select such kind of sql command uh, will be executed with the help of sql command object after that data reader data reader is the class and object which is used to read data from the data base after that data adapter data adapter provide the communication between data base and data set uh, here data set is nothing but one of the copy of your actual data base such a portion or right hand side portion we can say that it's a one of the duplicate copy or known as a data set so data adapter use and provide communication between database and data set you can also perform select insert update command with the help of data adapter here data set it's a disconnected object data set is a combination of data table and data relation here data table is also contain row column and constraint so uh, here is the architecture of adio.net with the help of that uh, we can perform any operation in database insert update delete in short many manipulating operation we can perform in the database or in your application we can connect the database in this is the data provider basically four data provider are here sql server oledb odbc oracle when you are using one of the database or one of the data provider in your application at that time you have to remember that uh you have to use special namespace for the particular data provider if you are using sql server then you have to define in your program system.data.sql client if you are using oledb then you have to mention system.data.oledb namespace likewise different data provider content different namespace uh, in the next lecture we will definitely Uh, see practical session how to create database how to perform uh, different different operation in the database so thank you for watching this video